Welcome back to Vista Study Visit guys. So today we are going to learn the hints of essay writing. How to write an essay. We know that we have already given the subject. We know there are so many kinds of essay. But how to choose the content. What are the things needed to select the content in a proper way or a manner. Okay. So now let us go with the two perspectives. General preparation and the special preparation. Okay, what is general preparation and what are special preparations? So, let us learn here. Okay, general preparation refers to reading, observation and conversation. Okay, it is a daily life activity. General preparation is a regular based activity which you see the people, which you learn from the people or which you read your regular books. Okay, it completely depends upon your daily routine. How you people are going to learn every day. What are the things you learn, how much you observe and how much you grasp them. And how you converse them with your friends. Okay, so the major general preparation rule is reading, observation and conversation. Okay, reading not only consists the reading of books, it may be any other activity which you do apart from reading or writing. Okay, observation, how do you observe the people? What do you observe in the people? What slang they are using? Okay, these all comes under observation. Okay, next, how do you converse? How do you have a conversation with maybe your friends, with your teachers, with your elders or along with your parents even. Okay. So by seeing other people, we can see that we are going to learn something. Okay. No relationships or understanding are not responsible for your learning. Okay. Whenever a new person comes into your life, he teaches you something. So, what do you learn from that person? What do you learn from the person? What you have given to him? What he has given to you? What is the behavior of the person? Characteristic of a person? Everything we are going through. Okay? So, hence, clarifying that makes you the general preparation as reading, observation and a conversation this is a day-to-day -day life preparation which you comes under okay so uh, few people will feel that uh, uh, this uh, how to select the topic how to uh, select the content while writing an essay how to bring up with that essay with a proper module okay so that is the main part which comes in a special preparation Okay, general preparation, what do you see? You can put it on the paper in your own words and in your own language, which will improve your writing skills every day. Okay, so now coming to special preparation. Special preparation, like we write essay writings in our test papers. Okay, so what is what are the special preparation needed for them? First one is defining the subject. If you have selected one particular topic, as an elephant. The elephant is the topic for you. Okay. First define the subject. You have to first define the subject. What is the definition of the subject? Why are we using it? Okay. So second one is collecting materials. Okay. Collecting the materials. How to collect the materials on an elephant? Not possible. Okay. So if we see Suddenly, when we tell the elephant, a picture of an elephant comes into our brain. Okay. Elephant is popularly known for his weight, size and huge. Okay. The characteristics of elephant will come here now. Collecting the materials. Again, collecting the materials have been divided into subcategories. Reading of the subject properly. The collection of materials is categorized into three types. Reading of the subject, collection of subject and selection of subject. Okay. So, now the reading of the subject. How does we read? Or how do we read a subject? As what perspective? The clear information we get by reading. Whenever I go for suggesting the children that when your exams are there, please read the question properly. 
Why do why should we read the question properly? What is the importance of reading twice and thrice? Okay, because at the first session we won't understand anything. What is the major meaning of the sub sentence? So we have to read the question twice or thrice so that it could be fixed into our mind. Okay, as I said, collecting the materials first comes reading of the subject. What subject we are talking about? Why do we need? What do we need? Okay, these all comes in the reading of the subject. Next comes the collection of the topics. For example, as I said, elephant. How, what do we think we collect from the elephant? Elephant is good in nature. Elephant is big in size. Where do we find elephants? In which countries? Okay, these all things matter. Okay, and then comes the selection of the points. How do we select the points to be expressed on the paper? Okay, number of things will come into our mind. Hundreds of things will come. In that, which are the best points to be written on the paper? Okay, first point, why should we write the essay to gain the marks? Marks are the major point which should be kept in your mind. Okay, who will give you the marks? The evaluator. So, you have to impress the evaluator. Okay, this is our main and major task to perform. Okay, select the points in the way that they are very irregular and new to the evaluator. Let us move on to our next session. That is the main major points to in which we will learn what other things are needed while writing an essay? Okay, so the first topic comes as unity. What is unity? Unity is the major point to maintain or be constant on your essay topic. Okay, for example, we have given the essay to write on elephant. When we are writing on elephant, we should not skip to the cat or some other part of the essay okay so unity need to be maintained in the sentence building and sentence formation okay so the second point comes as order yeah what do we need we need an order okay we should be having a clear order while writing an essay. Essay should be given with introduction. Essay should be having a body. And it also should consist a conclusion. Okay. So, the order of the essay is mandatory. Okay. The sequence, the order should be followed properly. Okay. Next comes the brevity. Next comes the brevity. What is brevity? Brevity is the flow of the essay, the thought of the essay. I am selecting the sentences to put on the paper. Okay, as I said before, evaluator will be very sharp. They will be finding mistakes. Okay, sentence building and sentence formation is to be built in the mind. For, for example, you are thinking about elephant. You will think in English. No, you will think in, in your own mother tongue or some other language. Okay, so when we are bringing or translating the sentences into English, we should be very careful and we should read the mind of evaluator. We should impress the evaluator. Okay, the regular routine words evaluator also will listen that every day. But what is the difference? What makes you different from others? That is the major important task here. Okay. Next comes. Yeah. The style of writing essay. Everybody has their own style of writing. Okay. They possess in them. That is in our blood. Okay. Style is in our blood. Okay. The same. You, you people have observed a teacher's teaching. Does the every teacher teach the same? No. Right. So. They have their own style of teaching. They have their own style. They consist, they possess it. Okay. So you should possess your own style of putting the thoughts on the paper. Okay. It should be either funny. It should be not completely a tragic or a complete humorful story or not completely funny or something. 
okay you should balance the thoughts you should balance the thoughts next comes the personal touch the personal touch in whatever you write personal touch okay personal touch what is the personal touch think that you are the part of the story you are the main character of the story that brings the personal touch to the story or else the story whatever you write will be just like an watching a movie personal touch refers to you should feel you should be sad or you should be narratable very good when it comes to the personal touch to any essay okay i hope this was useful for you people and you will follow the steps let us see how many marks you will gain in your exams so all the best for your exams